Hi, Ben from Miro, and today we'll be setting up the Mikrotik Hub AC Lite using the Mikrotik Home mobile application. Setting up a Mikrotik can be a daunting task, especially when using Winbox. The Mikrotik Home app makes it extremely easy to set up your router within minutes. All right, let's get started. If you're an Android user, head over to Play Store and type in Mikrotik Home. If you're on Apple, just go to the App Store and do the same search. Once you're on the App Store, click on Search and type in Mikrotik Home. Once you see the Mikrotik Home app, just click on Install and wait for the installation to finish. Our Mikrotik Home app is finished installing, so let's open it. And while the application is open, it's going to start searching for a gateway. Remember, our AC light hasn't been powered up yet, so let's give it some power and connect our internet. Okay, my Mikrotik has received power and I've connected the internet cable to the internet port. Now we need to connect to the SSID. So let's open our Wi-Fi settings and look for the Mikrotik SSID. As we can see, we have the Mikrotik SSID there. So let's click on it and you will also notice that it's an open network. It doesn't have any security. So we can just connect and once it's connected, let's head back to the application to see if the app now picks up the router. We can now see the Mikrotik Hub AC Lite in the Mikrotik app. So let's click on it. And now we have to connect to it using the username and password. By default, the username is admin and there will be no password. So simply click on connect. Now we can start setting up the router. We have regional settings. So in our case, we'll select South Africa. Let's click on start. And now from the beginning, you can set up your preferred SSID and password. Let's leave this as the Mikrotik SSID and let's give it a password. Right. And as you can see, we have the SSID and the password. Let's click on next. And now we need to change the default password to something a bit more secure. There we go. I'm using the same login password that we've used on the SSID. We've confirmed that it's the same. So let's click on next. And here is a summary of our wireless SSID and our router security says, yes, we have changed the password. So let's click on save. So now you'll notice that our phone is disconnected from the Mikrotik SSID because we've set a password. So let's rescan for the Wi-Fi. Now we can connect to the Mikrotik SSID with the password. You'll also notice that now the SSID has a lock. So let's click on the Mikrotik and let's enter our password and click on connect. And now we're connected to the SSID. So let's go back to the Mikrotik Home app. And that's it. From the dashboard, we can see that our internet is available and we have one device connected, which is our phone. If you would like to change more settings, simply go to the more menu. And here on the wireless networks, you can use a QR code to share the SSID with other people, or you can change the SSID. For now, we'll leave it like that. If we navigate over to internet, we will see that our router receives a DHCP IP from the network. But in many cases, you might need to do the dial up using triple PoE. So simply go to the edit button in the top right corner, and instead of automatic, you can select triple PoE enter your username and password that you've received from the service provider and save the settings. And that's it. Setting up a Mikrotik router using the Mikrotik Home app is extremely fast and user-friendly. If you require any additional assistance, please send us an email to support at miro.co.za or give us a call on 012-657-0960. And we'll see you in the next one.